As the Jury Office Reed Fund Manager, I'm delighted to share highlights from the Trust's half year 21 results. Throughout June to December 2020, COF delivered a solid performance, enabling us to reinstate an FFO guidance of between 19.4 to 19.9 cents per unit, while we're iterating distribution guidance of 16.5 cents per unit, representing a current distribution yield of around 8.5%. Performance was underpinned by strong rent collections of around 97% and buoyant leasing activity. We leased more than 28,000 square metres across 31 transactions, representing about 9.3% of CWEB's portfolio in LA. The average weighted lease expiry stands at 4.5 years, with around 57% of leases expiring at or beyond FY25. CUF's assets are underpinned by strong tenant covenants. Approximately 80% of our portfolio income is derived from government, listed and multinational tenants. CUS portfolio is truly geographically diversified, which de-risks the trust at a time when border closures and lockdowns are unpredictable, and when there is significant disparity in the performance of individual Australian office markets. In the 12 months to 31 December 2020, some of the COF exposed office markets, such as Canberra and the Sydney Fringe, experienced positive net absorption which starkly contrasts the Melbourne and Sydney CBD, which had significant negative net absorption. These are markets where COF has little to no exposure. Over the longer term, we believe there will be a strong employee preference towards working closer to home. A key contributor to employee satisfaction is the length and quality of their commute, which influenced our decision to acquire buildings in South Everly in the Sydney Fringe and Fortitude Valley which provide excellent and improving connectivity. While there is ongoing debate about the productivity of working from home, it is generally accepted that the most efficient thing in relation to working from home is reducing time lost commuting to the workplace. This makes offices located in metropolitan and fringe locations a more desirable destination for tenants and their employees. Looking forward, we are optimistic for the remainder of FY21. As the COVID vaccine rolls out and white collar employment grows, we expect tenant demand for office space to increase, especially within Australia's metropolitan and fringe office markets.